right, it's Rook. And Chucky came in the fog recently with a number of tweaks for perks and player cards. And today we are going to talk about player cards and specifically their current state in the game today. The update released a few days ago. So what player cards are in general is customizable icons uh, that can feature a specific background, some banners, some animated stuff. And then you can show at the end of a match to everyone else that played with you. They usually feature um, in other games, like stuff related to the character you are playing, but Behavior specifically said that they will feature your achievements here or the participation to a specific event. So what I thought is that we will maybe receive something for um, the winter event that is yet to come. So of course it's gonna be later, on a, like on a later date. But if you tell me that I'm gonna receive something for my achievements, I understand that I'm gonna receive something for either or both of two things. Uh, first one, what your platform is going to consider achievements. So you will receive an achievement, uh, it will pop up on your screen if you do an adapt, for example, or if you heal a certain number of survivors, uh, if you hit a certain number of Hatches as Antres, uh, the list goes on, but you know what I mean. So I thought it would maybe feature something like that, it would maybe be keep count of how you progress in all this stuff, because there are already websites that do that. And maybe it's gonna show that in your badge, you can choose to show that, for example, you have COVID a certain amount of times. I'll definitely show that, by the way. Um, or that you will receive a banner for your personal achievement. So having prestige your character to a certain level, that can be P100, but can also be something more accessible maybe, and something else for P100, having played uh, since a certain year, so maybe a badge for 2016, 17, and so on and so forth. What I really expected to find that the second I uh, booted the game after the update was surely a banner for people that have been played since 2016, which is not me, but you know. Uh, and most definitely, I expected to find something that could identify you as a killer survivor, maybe. Um, so I would expect to see a small banner with a killer um, icon, the survivor icon, or both split to signify that you play both sides equally. Um, I expected to find something for the original killers and survivors, because when you start playing the game for the first time, in case you don't remember, you will receive some customization for the basic character, stuff that has been in the game since forever, you're gonna receive it for free, and you're even gonna receive a first charm for completing the tutorial, it's a blood point charm. So what I expected was to have customizations like that, uh, killer, survivor banners, and maybe some badges for trapper, uh, raid, to call that, you know, the, the OG character, so you could at least start with something. But what we got instead is this. So you know you click here, what, play your profile, where you can customize your card. By the way, I'm stuck here because I cannot play killer because of the queue times. I'm very frustrated. And these are the badges and the banners, and I have none. The only way right now to have a banner is if you have bought the skins, not even the DLC, but the skins for Chucky. I don't know if it's one for each or just you buy one, you get both banner and badge. And it shows like this. You have the banner you can see and the badge but what's the point here like the problem is that this is the only banner and the only badge available by the way p100 is a very rare the only banner and the only badge available this is it the customization air quote feature is not very customizable on release <laughs> because you can only actually customize it with one thing and remember behavior said this this would say something about you as a player so as a player, um, maybe it would have been nicer on release to not just have one possible customization, but something very small, something that wouldn't even take so long to do, where you have the killer symbol here, for example, or the survivor uh, symbol here, and just the OG survivors and killers that you can swap and just signify that, hey, I'm a killer main. I understand the winter event is here, we're gonna get a lot more uh, customization options, but um, since you're gonna receive this for a skin that is a legendary skin, I think, it would have also been nice to receive the same for other skins, not license, not license, because I know that stuff requires negotiation and contracts and stuff, but for other legendary skins that are already in the game, um, the Ferryman, um, the Jabberwock, Naughty Bear, and no, we didn't receive even that. So my question here is why? 
why pushing out something like a feature that looks so unfinished? Why pushing out something that does not deliver what they promised? Because what they promised was uh, customization for the player, something that shows uh, who the player is. And the, the only thing available on release is Chucky, and only if you buy the skins, not even the DLC. And then Behavior says that they don't want to lock achievable cosmetics behind P100, because that's a lot of grind. Yeah. Okay. Everything else, amazing. MFT nerf, deserved. Uh, uh, Chucky, not my kind of killer, but everyone loves it. Again, killer queue times are 3 million thousand years, just because everyone is playing Chucky. But I, I really want to know. Why, I'm so curious. I know that I will never know. But I really want to know why this feature came out like this. Like, who at the upper floor said, if you don't push it like this, I don't care. There is nothing customizable. I'm going to fire you. Because that's really how it looks like. Anyway, um, I, I cannot even ask you which player cards you have or which player cards you're waiting for. Because, uh, well, pretty clearly, you don't have any and you don't even know what to ask for because this seemed to be only for events that you participated in for now and for buying skins so which achievements i didn't get one for p100 on legion I, you saw it i don't have anything i haven't seen anyone else having it there doesn't seem to be anything retroactive anyway i hope i have better updates i hope in one month i can tell you hey they actually gave us uh, all these great achievement uh, player cards they all gave us all these p100 or p20 or p50 or whatever player cards and it's amazing and i love the event ones and blah 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 but for now i am a little bit disappointed <laughs>